Did you know that gay marriage is protected by the Constitution under liberty and equality? The U.S. Supreme Court declared in 1974 that the freedom of personal choice in matters of marriage and family life is one of the liberties protected by the Due Process Clause. This was stated in 1974 through Cleveland Board of Education v. LaFleur, according to GayMarriage.Procon.org. Legalizing gay marriage and supporting gay rights are long overdue in our society. I can bet that nearly all of us have someone in our lives from the LGBT, which stands for lesbian, gay, bi, and transgender community. We may not even know it, but chances are we do. Don't we want to support our fellow neighbors, acquaintances, friends, and family with living a life as free as ours? I have tons of friends from the LGBT community. And no, I'm not gay. I'm someone who supports gay marriage and gay rights. My mom's a minister who also supports the gay community. She helps them with accepting themselves for who they are because they sometimes have trouble accepting themselves because of how they were raised. I know gay couples who would love to get married and adopt children, but they can't because it's not legal. It's so sad to see a happy couple who wants to raise happy children and not be allowed to. In fact, it's illegal to. It just doesn't seem constitutional. Today I'll be addressing three main points to show the pros of gay rights and legalizing gay marriage. I'll talk about equality, religion, and adoption. Don't we all want equality in America? I know I want to be as treated as equal as my peers, so why shouldn't the LGBT community be treated just like us? First thing is equality. One of the things that comes along with equality is to be on their significant other's health insurance. So many heterosexual couples are able to be on their significant other's health insurance, and gay couples don't have that right. So with legalizing gay marriage, they would be allowed to be on their significant other's health insurance. Another thing is receiving workers' benefits if their spouse dies. With heterosexual couples, they receive that right. Gay couples do not. They are just left with nothing. That's according to bucks.blognewyorktimes.com. Also, gays' right to marry. They can file their state taxes jointly if they were allowed to get married and receive more money as if they were filing them separately. Also, they can visit their spouse in the hospital had a tragedy occurred. Husband and wives constantly get to visit their husbands or wives in the hospital if a tragedy occurs and gay couples don't get that right. So if they were able to get married, they would be able to visit them right away. One of the biggest debates in letting gay couples get married has to do with religion, but along with religion always comes debate. The biggest quote from the Bible is, homosexuality is a sin. If you believe that quote from the Bible, you must believe all quotes from the Bible, which comes along with, you can only wear 100% cotton, women can't cut their hair, marking your body is a sin. If you believe that quote, you must believe all quotes. You can't pick and choose what quotes you want to believe. Also, the Bible does not state that gays cannot marry. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, according to ChristianGays.com, all it says is that a man shall not lay with another man. It's, abomin it's an abomination. Basically, what very religious people consider that as is gay people cannot marry. But what it comes down to is it does not say gay people cannot marry. It's just what you interpret it as. Should children really be affected by some of society's closed-mindedness that children needing to be adopted can't be adopted? 130,000 children in the U.S. in foster homes today need adopted. That number would be significantly decreased had gay people be allowed to adopt. Gay couples raising children are no different than heterosexual couples raising children. A study showed that lesbian co-parents raise their children no different than heterosexual parents. More than half of gay people and 41% of lesbians would like to adopt children, but the truth is only 6% are able to because of it being illegal and being extremely difficult to do. These three points really show the importance of gay couples who are human beings to be able to marry. We as a nation are in need of a change. Gay marriage is even protected in our Constitution. What more does the world need to know than to just legalize gay marriage? Equality, religion, and adoption are all things that make my point with legalizing gay marriage. None of it's bad. We're not giving anyone anything that they don't already deserve. They deserve equality, not to be sinned by religion, and to have the right to adopt and raise children. The world will not collapse and will not go into any more debt because of this. If anything, it will cause financial gain. And hopefully states will start to decide to legalize gay marriage. 
I want you to support our fellow acquaintances, neighbors, friends, and family. Don't judge how they live their lives. They don't choose who we want to marry or who we want to love. They're not forcing us to be gay or to marry someone of the same sex. They just want to be treated as equal as heterosexuals. We've come so far with so many things. An African-American president nominating a female president? What's wrong with letting gay community get married? Will the world collapse? Will the world crumble? My answer is no. None of that will happen. If anything, things will get better. Let's try to be as equal of a nation as possible. Let's strive for equality.